Hello traders, this is Fawad Razak Zada, Market Analyst for City Index. Today is the 24th of October 2023. I'm here to give you a quick market update. So, as you can see, the markets have bounced back. The German DAX index is finding support from a long term support area around uh, 14,600 or so. Um, this level had been previously support and resistance, as you can see in the past. Given that it was down for the last several sessions, um, a bit of an oversold bounce makes total sense. The key question is, can the recovery hold? And so for that reason, uh, we need to keep a very close eye on uh, key levels, including Monday's high at 14,855 for as long as uh, the index holds above that level. The path of short-term least, least resistance would remain to the upside. Um, in terms of uh, potential resistance levels to watch, uh, 15,000 is uh, going to be important, or the area around that level, because this is where the index had previously found support before breaking lower last week. So uh, if and when the index comes back to retest this level from underneath, uh, let's see if it will form resistance there, or we will pierce through it and rise further. So um, it faces lots of uh, short-term resistance levels such as this, and what happens around there will be very important. So keep a very close eye on those levels. Similar price action to DAX can be observed in several other indices, including the NASDAQ here. As you can see, this index has found support as well uh, from uh, around 14,550, this level being support on a number of occasions where we haven't got a daily close below um, after several attempts to break below it failed. So that level's, uh, level remains the key support to watch. For as long as we hold above it, there's a hope that we will see a bit of a short covering bounce um, towards 14,900, which is the base of the last uh, week's breakdown and where we also have the 21 day exponential moving average coming into play. So we have some key technology earnings to look forward to from the US, which uh, could determine the direction of the next move for the NASDAQ 100. If uh, overall the earnings are better than expected, we should expect to see uh, a rise towards the resistance trend of this uh, uh, falling wedge pattern, uh, whereas um, if earnings uh, appear to be weaker than expected, then watch out below because with bond yields uh, remaining elevated, we could see um, some weakness creep into the NASDAQ 100, more so than we've seen in the last couple of months. Now, bond yields fell quite sharply on Monday after a brief break above that 5% key level, which everyone was watching, um, before reversing to close lower. The yields have bounced back a little bit off the lows today, but let's see if there's going to be any further upside momentum to this or we will see um, weakness creep back into it following uh, Monday's reversal pattern. If yields were to go back above that 5% level, then that could lead to all sorts of volatility, whereas if it continues to weaken, then that could be something that might help lift sentiment on Wall Street. For more analysis, make sure to check out the news and analysis section at cityindex.com.